ever since we found a car in our pond, we've only been left with more questions than answers. With the law enforcement unable to help us at this point, it is on us to find the answers to our own questions. Where did this car come from? How did it get in our pond? Was it stolen? Or was it deliberately placed in an attempt to hide evidence? I can say this for sure. There is no good reason to put a car in a pond. Now my family and I are trying to find clues, put pieces together, and make some sense of the mysterious car that has been buried in our pond for over 40 years. In this video, we're going to explore the inside of the car, see if we can't find a VIN number or some form of identification, maybe a few things that somebody left behind or forgot, and quite possibly the biggest clue that we have found yet. All right, so before this video starts, I just wanna give you guys a heads up that this video happened over multiple days of the span of about a week. So you're gonna see us uh, wearing different clothes. You're gonna see the pond at different levels. So just giving you guys a heads up. So uh, sit back, enjoy the video. If you guys have any comments or questions, be sure to post them down in the comments throughout the video. And it's, got, and it's got a white... You ain't got no license plate. What? How do you know that's the license plate? <laughs> that's right. Oh, that's not in the middle. Can you get some more stable of that roof? Not stable at all. Um, that's why I'm sitting on the side. The back of it's actually collapsing. It, was this down here? Yeah, it was in the car. Oh, yeah. The license plate should be on the bumper. I thought that was the bumper. It might be. That is so creepy. Ooh. Wait, did you find it? That's what we're looking for right now. She may have found it. You are going to save me if I get stuck, right? Yes, no. you're not going to get stuck. Are you sure? Yes. Oh, because I'm feeling super stuck. We don't, got don't, hey, don't bend it. Don't bend it. It's metal. It's not it's gonna... bended. Put it in the water. Wash it off. There you go, Joshua. Oh, shit, it is. What do you got? July. That's Pennsylvania. It's right here. It's right here. Don't don't scrape too hard. 1981. From 1981 to 1982. Super cool. Oh, What's the plate number? I feel like I found treasure. <laughs> What's the plate number? Plate number 222 21R. Peace <laughs> It's treasure. That's okay, so, I that's, didn't find bones, but that's, that's the, okay. That's the main thing I wanted to find that right there. That is awesome. It says Monte Carlo right on the dashboard. Really? Oh, it does. Look at that. Oh, there it is. Don't let everything fall out of it. It is water. There's nothing in it. Except whatever the hell this is. It's the lock. The wires. What do we got over there by you? Uh, I'm totally up in this car. Yeah. Oh, definitely. <laughs> All right. <gasps> I don't know. I it was a bug. It was like a fish or something. Really? Yeah! You might find a turtle. It started wiggling! Oh, uh, it might be a tadpole. No, it was little. Might be a tadpole. Ooh, what's this? The rear view mirror. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> If you could dump on the the tail the trunk lid yep on the lid yep okay. because if there's anything in there i don't want it falling into the water that's the back of the car that's orange okay 
You said it's purple. No, the car is purple. Yeah, what is that? Is that a speaker? Is that, is that the magnet for the speaker? Yep. Metal sticking to it. Oh man, that's an old school jack. Yeah, look at that. I haven't seen one like that in forever. Nice, all right. All right. What else do we got in there? Not feeling anything. Uh oh. Not feeling like it. That's it. That's the rest of the jack. I don't know what that is. All right, good morning everybody. Uh, today is the next day working on the pond and uh, in the car. Good news is we found something. The only issue is, can we read it? So we're letting the pond drain a little bit more. If you look really closely, look at that door. There's a white sticker. We found the GM stickers on the door. We're hoping uh, we can get something off of it. Just checking it earlier, it, it didn't look like we were going to be able to get anything. So, and just so everybody's aware, this is where the VIN number would be at. It's it's uh, gone. There's nothing there. There it is. Information. Pause that video. See if you guys can't get anything off of it. Try not to rub it as much. Let's get this paintbrush. A soft brush here. This is really just giving us our, some vehicle information. Uh, usually, mostly the stuff that we already knew. And we'll see if we can't can't read what's here. Post down in the comments what you think that date is. I think it says 0877. We are actually sitting in the car today. And there's one more glimmer of hope. We can't find the VIN on the door. There's nothing on this side. There's nothing, well, you can't see it right now, but nothing here on this back. So, um, I sat in the car and the dash started falling apart. Um, the reason why this is um, not a bad thing is, first off, the cigarette ashtray has not been checked. I wanted to get into it. That's how I found out that the dash started falling apart. And secondly, I don't know if you guys can see this, where the VIN number would be at, up here in the corner. Uh, the plate is rusted, uh, but hopefully, if this dash will come off and we can get it off somewhat relatively smooth, there's a possibility we could grab um, what looks to be the VIN number plate up here. I mean, this, this thing's just falling apart. I'm also checking the vents to see if things fell in the vents. Um, all I could think of is Tommy Boy with M&Ms, but you never know. Um, things, we're, we're literally trying to find something in this car that identifies something. And I'm sure once we get it out, maybe it might be easier to, to track down. But right now, um, we're not having too much luck. For those curious on what's going on right now. <laughs> oh man, let me show you. 
All right, there's the dash. It's off. It basically is falling apart with a little bit of persuasion. But right here's what we're looking for. That plate right there. Apologize if the camera's dirty. I don't think it is, but yeah, this, this plate that is riveted to the car. We're gonna try to at least clean up maybe. Let's see if we can't get anything off of it, but the plate that we actually need is way in the back. And I think it's gone, guys. I think we're I think we're SOL on this one. Unless you guys know where another VIN number may be, maybe on inside of a fender. The fender's gone, so I think that's out of the question. I've seen some vendors have VIN numbers on them before. Um, just stickers. It seems like the sticker uh, is the only thing that we've had survive uh, this car so far. This VIN number is toast. The VIN number plate, at least. As you can see, we're probably not gonna get anything off the engine. Oh man. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, folks. What is this? There's riding. There is riding and rivets. <laughs> Jess, I think I found something. It's riveted in right above the brake booster. Oh man, and there's numbers. I, I can't see it. I can't. Okay, so. I'm pretty sure. Was that one AZ seventy eight? One AZ three seven B zero zero three nine one six. I don't know if this is a VIN number plate or not. I can read it. This plate is in like awesome condition, but I just don't know. It doesn't have a VIN number. It's... All right, so I don't know what this means, but we found the plate. Um, we're going to read it back to you after we go look. We're gonna have to go back into cell phone signal. So there's a couple other things going on here. This is the closest thing we found to anything remotely close to an identify, to identify this car. This plate is right above the brake booster but this, this plate is in perfect condition, surprisingly. And somebody did say that there was a plate above the brake booster on the firewall. Now, this is not necessarily in the firewall that I would think, but anyways, it's exciting. So we'll get back to you. We're gonna go to see if we can't find some information on this plate, and then we'll kind of do it out of order and then show you guys uh, the plate after the, everything's done, because we might have to call the sheriffs for this one. All right, so uh, just giving you guys an update. The plate that we found was the um, body plate, which basically gives you information about the year, which is cool because we just we verified the actual year of the car. It gives us the make and the model, um, the plant that it was built in, the color codes. It's, it's really just for restoration. Some of you guys probably already knew that. Um, however, we went and ran and, and, and checked it out. And then while we were out, we decided we were going to see if we couldn't find um, some more information on where possibly a VIN number would be. And there's nothing. <laughs> Someone did say something about uh, on the deck lid. Well, the deck lid is actually in good condition. And I don't recall seeing a sticker on it, but we're going to go check real fast. But I don't think there's a sticker on it. All right, so for the sake of 
simplicity we're going to start here in the front of the car we're going to do the front seat i don't know if i can get the the passenger seat maybe we can try to move that dash again um that would be where the registration would be at too so we're going to make an attempt and then we're going to move the seats up and check in here and then we will be moving to the trunk all right hopefully you guys can see got it on wide wide lens so one of the theories was there was a cinder block on the gas pedal broom drove the car into the water and that's where it died um so I don't feel a gas pedal or a cinder block, but we're gonna just dump some of the smoke on the seat. And I'll tell you guys if I see anything. There is something there. I'm not quite sure what that is. Interesting. I'm not quite sure. If you know what it is, leave it down in the comments. Wait, we got something else. I can't even wash this. There's just muck. I don't know what it is. Probably a piece of the dashboard, maybe when we tore it out. Have, got something else. A little piece of plastic, it feels like. Not quite sure what that is. Again, probably a two apart from the dash when we pulled the dash out. So we haven't been able to see this good into the trunk at all, like remotely close to this good. And I think the trunk is at a point where we can actually probably dig this out. All right, let's go inside the car here and try out inside. Oh, that's so gross. Someone said that there was a VIN number in the back here. I have no idea. We're going to check the floorboard area and call it a day today. Um, oh, that's so gross. It smells so nasty. Too bad Futurama hasn't invented, or the stuff on Futurama, smell of vision hasn't been invented yet. Huh? I'm beginning to think that there's nothing over here either. Oh, it's so gross. I don't think it was anything. Oh, here we go. This is what I felt. <laughs> Plastic. Hey, look, Band-Aids. It's probably out of the, the glove box, to be honest. This thing's metal. So. Check just to make sure Band-Aids are in it, huh? There's a leaf. I'm just going to start reaching in here. This is just nasty, but start reaching in here. Here's a, a D battery. All right. Because that glove box, is it's very important. Roll of scotch tape, it looks like. We're running out of battery on the camera. So I have no choice but to really put my hands in here and fill around. Oh, that almost felt like paper. something else I have no idea what this is nothing identifiable <laughs> so, so, 
Wait, got something else. What is this? The either the knob to the windshield wiper or the knob to that's the windshield wiper. Alright. Might as well look under the seat too while I'm at it. under the seat. <laughs> Holy smokes, that's styrofoam. There's more. Oh. This coat's trashed. <laughs> oh, it's so nasty. I can tell you I'm not doing this in the back seat. This is the glove box area, which is the area that uh, I really wanted to get. And I, you know what? I don't, I don't really feel anything else. And I know, uh, ah, my hat. I know some of you guys might be like, well, since you've already done it with the front, why don't you do it to the rest of them? Ah. Uh, that's so gross. It's so nasty. But uh, that's it for today, guys. The battery's dying. We couldn't find the VIN. Uh, we checked behind the seats, the driver's side. We found a couple more things uh, here. Nothing too crazy. Band-Aids, masking tape, a D battery. A uh, piece of the handle. And look at that. That's just, that's just nasty. It's gross. Um, I'm going to have to wash myself off for tetanus and every other disease known to persons but thanks for watching guys be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss anything the next step is to basically try to get the car out of the pond don't know how we're going to do it but uh we'll figure it out